Hey, Dyers, welcome back to the channel. If you're here, you're probably dealing with a P0010 error code, which is related to the camshaft position actuator circuit. It sounds intimidating, but don't worry. In today's video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know to fix it, yourself. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned gearhead, I've got you covered. The generic code P0010 is defined as a camshaft position. Actuator circuit bank 1. This error code tells you that the powertrain control module PCM or engine control module ECM has detected a problem with your engine's variable valve timing, VDT solenoid. Faults in the all control valve, the powertrain control module might get damaged. Engine timing may be out of sync some sort of internal damage in the ECM. Crankshaft or camshaft sensor can start malfunctioning, engine all sludge. A short or open circuit in the VVT, OCV, or VCT circuit. Defects in the intake camshaft position actuator solenoid. Check engine light illuminated. Affect engine performance at higher RP MIS. Reduce fuel economy and engine performance. Affect engine idle quality. Fail an emission inspection. OBD scanner, multimeter. Wrench set or socket set. Screwdriver. Brake cleaner or electrical contact cleaner. Rags or clean cloth. Replacement camshaft position actuator. Engine all. Work gloves. Locate the all drain plug. It's usually on the bottom of the engine. Use your socket set to loosen the plug. Place the all drain pen underneath to catch the old all. Carefully remove the drain plug and let the old all drain completely while the all is draining. It's a good time to inspect the plug and washer for any signs of wear or damage. Now, let's replace the all filter using your all filter. Wrench, loosen and remove the old filter. Before installing the new one, lubricate the Rubber gasket with a bit of fresh awl. Screw on the new filter hand tight. With the old awl drained and the new filter in place, it's time to add fresh awl. Consult your car's manual for the correct awl capacity and type. Pour it in using a funnel to avoid spills. Start your engine and let it run for a few minutes. Then, turn it off and check the awl. Level using the dipstick. Add more awl if needed and recheck until you reach the correct level. Don't forget to dispose of the old all properly. Most auto parts stores accept used all for recycling. Never dump it in the trash or down the drain. Locate the camshaft all control valve. Depending on your vehicle, it's usually mounted on the cylinder head near the camshaft. You'll typically find it bolted to the engine block with an electrical connector attached. Clean the all control valve using a brake cleaner or electrical contact cleaner spray. The valve thoroughly to remove any dirt or sludge buildup. Be sure to clean the valve's filter and any passages. Wipe it down with a clean cloth and let it air dry for a few minutes. If you want to test the valve before reinstallation, use a multimeter to check the resistance. Across the valve's electrical terminals, the resistance should be within the manufacturer's specifications usually between 6 to 12 ohms. If the reading is off, it's time to replace the valve. If your inspection or testing revealed that the valve is faulty, now's the time to replace it. Simply, install the new camshaft, all control valve in the same spot as the old one, following the same steps for securing the bolts and reconnecting the harness. Once everything's been cleaned, repaired, or replaced, clear the P0010 code using your OBD2 scanner and take your car for a test drive. And that's it, fixing the P0010 code doesn't have to be complicated. If you followed these steps, you've likely resolved the issue without needing an expensive trip to the mechanic. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.